This is a character design exercise in which I am improvising both the role of the interviewer and the role of the creature being interviewed. Characters with the most likes and views will be animated and made into a lo-fi album. Go ahead, introduce yourself. My name is John. You've spoken to my twin sister, Serafina. Tell me a little bit about who you are. I'm a warlock, and I am employed as a bounty hunter. My trade is in finding, and I turn into a wolf. My wife is Pranica, and we have a little home together in in the trees. It's a, it's, it's a tree house built in the trees. And there is... Um, like a wooden bridges between the trees that give us extra space, um, extra rooms. And we like the safety that a treehouse provides. It makes us feel like our home is fortified. And with the line of work that I do, I prefer a little extra safety because some people don't like to be found. And some people will try to ensure that they are never found. I don't just do people finding. I find magical artifacts, things of worth, both in price and in sentiment. And so, yeah, my appearance is I have a leather hat with a drawstring that is kind of like a cowboy hat, has a... A, a wide brim. It's kind of like a, a suede. It's not a suede. It's just leather, but it's kind of a light brown. It's kind of scarred up from all the rough um, tuck and rolls that I, I have to sometimes dash somewhere quick. It has a yeah, and then I have a I have a scar on my left eye, a vertical scar. I have a leather vest and then I have that is brown and then a jacket. My jacket is black and it's like a very thin buttery leather. I have um, gloves without the fingers on my hands so the gloves end at my first knuckle, and then I have some boots that are rain and water resistant. In fact, all of this leather is rain and water resistant because of the mold. We put a, a charm that, some herbal treatments, but yeah, we, we also just put a charm that keeps, keeps the mold at bay. Because the charm has like sort of a multi-purpose. It's a charm that allows me to shift invisible. And so this also corresponds to the attachment of the, the mold. The mold will not perceive the sensory stimuli of the leather. So it will um, find it inhospitable. It, it won't interact with it. My wife laughs at me a lot, often, for the way I mix leathers and wear things that don't match or go well together. We just have different priorities, and that's fine in that regard. But we have, we have similar priorities in that we're both very interested in creating spells and creating, using creativity to overcome obstacles and how to uh, do things smartly, intelligently. We both like to share our, our inventions and our ideas and our new concepts and sometimes that helps the other person uh, come up with good ideas as well for Maybe that spell relates in some way to the needs of the other person's problem. So we have a lot of fun together. We're getting a lot out of 
our connection and there's a certain teamwork where we do work independently, but we're on the same side. We're helping one another. We're interested in the success of the other and furthering the other through our own exploration as well. What are your powers exactly? What are your um, magical skill sets? I'm very skilled at invisibility and shifting the appearance of objects, people. I can project it onto other people as well. I can also sense when something has been manipulated in the same way by someone else. So if I'm looking at clues or evidence, I can see past the spells that are potentially hiding something. Goes well with my line of work. I've always been pretty skilled in this way, and so it just kind of led down this path. The career just evolved on it evolved on its own. It developed on its own. I'm also a very good tracker. I have a strong intuition about the beings that move through the world, and I understand the mind that is held by the form that is moving through the space, every pause, every shift of weight, there is mind connected to that. And, you know, maybe it's as much as the body holding the mind as the mind holding the body and posturing it in certain ways. So I find all of this very fascinating. Yeah, I captivates my interest and makes me good at it because I am invested. I'm sort of curious about how uh, if you've ever had some sort of interfering work with your wife, such as a parcel that needed to be delivered, but there was also some sort of bounty connected to such uh, such a delivery. Um, any conflicts of interest in that way? No? <laughs> okay. Well, that's all I have on my end as the interviewer. You did a really great job describing everything. And um, thank you. No problem.